Lavalo is the only statin that does not increase the risk for insulin resistance. It's a very important statin, one of the two most important ones available right now. The other thing about Lavalo is very expensive because it hasn't lost its patent and the makers know it does not cause insulin resistance. So a lot of folks have an interest in patavastatin. It's expensive. It doesn't cause increased risk for prediabetes. So why is the question about the half-life? A big issue. Well, the other very important statin out there is resuvastatin or Crestor. Crestor has a half-life of 17 hours. So therefore, it makes sense to use Crestor every other day. And some folks even use it once a week, low-dose Crestor. That has been shown to have an impact on cardiovascular inflammation. Patavastatin has an impact on cardiovascular inflammation as well. We tend to not use it with these longer doses every week, two or three times a week. It does have a shorter half-life. It's a 12-hour half-life. We do have a couple of people that take patavastatin every other day, but I don't really recommend it. There's just not enough science behind it. And again, 12 hours is significantly shorter than the 17. So I've had a lot more people ask me about every other day or twice a week patavastatin than are actually on it. Again, because of the discussion that we just had. So what is half-life? It's the time that it takes your body to excrete half of a drug. And that's half-life is how we always look at how long a drug stays in the body or a poison, a drug or a poison. The half-life, as I said, for Crestor is 17 hours. The half-life for Patavastatin is 12 hours. It reaches its peak plasma accumulation within one hour after initial dosage. And 79% of it is excreted through the feces and within seven days.